Hey, there's my camera. I've been looking for that. I wonder what kind of videos we got on there. Huh. Well, I guess that means we can start Road to October. Some pretty impressive battery life. What's up everybody? I thought I'd pop in, give you a little update what's going on. Uh, today I'm going to go out to the haunted house, uh, to the Meeks, um, do some work out there. Um, Jess, Joe, and Scott should be out there doing some stuff. Uh, I can show you, well I might be able to show you a little bit what's going on. I can't show you everything. But um, I'm going to be working on the air compressor, working on uh, getting that thing set up. So uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll pop out there and uh, show you what's going on. Um, one thing, uh, you guys remember a couple videos ago I made this uh, horn blaster and I have mounted my selfie stick to get some portable scare cams. So hopefully we can uh, catch some of those guys off guard today. So uh, this should be pretty fun. <laughs> you were doing that when I was in the truck. So here's our compressor. It's uh, 80 gallon, six and a half horse, uh, three phase, which uh, is what I got to do is uh, convert the plug over. So um, we're going to run it through this wall. Um, there's the plug for the old stove. Um, I can't show you all of this stuff because that is a room, a set that is done. But um, yeah, the air compressor is currently in the bathroom. So. That is what we're gonna play with today. All right, it's wired up. Should we try it? Temporary, permanent, or portion thereof, so any part of the building, used for amusement, entertainment, or educational purposes that contains a device or system that conveys passengers, which I don't think you all have a mechanical system that conveys, but or, it says, or provides a walkway along, around, or over a course in any direction so arranged that means of egress path is not readily apparent due to visual or audio disrupt, uh, distractions. Gotcha. So if you're taking them down a path and they're having to go around and Kind of like we saw on the video. Yep. They don't know where the exit is at all times. Now it's become a special amusement. Gotcha. Building, because obviously you need for amusement purposes. Yeah. So 
And with the, that, that's kind of what got it. I mean, if you just had wide open stuff in your garage and they can see where the exit is at all times. Okay. It's not a special amusement building. It's you using your garage. It's a completely different conversation. But the fact that your the path was created yeah. um, creates a bit of a safety concern. So there you have it. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing a walkthrough this year anyway, uh, but that was pretty much the nail in the coffin right there. Um, basically, they said if I was going to do some type of walkthrough, you know, taking people through an enclosed uh, path, um, there's a lot of codes, um, hoops to jump through, permits. Uh, it was going to be expensive. So it just it's really not going to be worth it down the road. Um, I can still do my yard display. I can do stuff in the garage. You know, I just can't, you know, close it off to for people to go through so and uh, that's fine because I'm gonna be helping out the guys over at the Meeks anyway uh, I'm gonna have my hands full you know doing the the props over there and all that so um, plus I got some other um, projects and stuff that I want to get to um, this summer so I'll be able to to spend more time on doing that stuff so you know is what it is happy Saturday guys um, it is a, a lovely Saturday afternoon and uh, me and Olivia decided to finally get out this clay and uh, play around with it. This was the first time either one of us has even touched wet clay. Is that right, Olivia? Yes! <laughs> and what are you making over there? Um, I made a mug, a starfish. A zombie starfish? No. Oh. And a smiley face. Awesome. So, yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, this is on top of, it's a plastic uh, wig mold, so um, just so I had a reference and just so I didn't have to use, you know, 100 pounds worth of clay. So, and it's actually working out pretty good. Um, I have a, uh, where is it, a YouTube video from uh, Tip Toland on sculpting a clay head for anatomy and stuff like that. And it's a really good video actually telling you, you know, how to locate, you know, the eyes and nose and ears and all that stuff. So anyway, we're going to keep playing around with this for a little bit longer and uh, we'll check back in a little bit and um, see if we scrap the whole thing or if uh, we keep going. So. so this is how far we got from yesterday. Um, you know, following that uh, tutorial um, really helped get the uh, location of the anatomy and everything right. Um, you know, for, for being the first time I've ever attempted to sculpt anything, I don't, it's, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, now that I got, you know, the basic layout of everything, I can start actually trying to uh, to make something out of this, but uh, it looks kind of alienish right now. Um, I don't like the eyes. I got to fix that. But anyway, I think we're I think we're onto the right track. Anyway, it sort of looks like a head. I think so. We'll see where this goes. <laughs> 